Well, Let me tell you, he asks them. So okay, yeah, all right. Get to it. Let's do it. He's nice like asking y'all. really hard hidden questions he right does. now. He does. He does his research, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know he All does. right. He got time. Oh, man, look. He's got the notepad. That's how oh, you yeah, know he's, 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 he's about it. <laughs> he's about it. So this is for uh, uh, Lisa. Am I saying that right? Liza. 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 Yeah. How does it feel to have gone from YouTube all the way to Disney Channel? This is a dream. I didn't realize it could actually come to. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Do that one more time, but right over to me. Oh, yeah. The same. the same note? Oh, yeah, okay, please. Gotcha. This <laughs> the is the same note. <laughs> a dream that I didn't realize could come true. Uh, this is, it's so sick. You know, I grew up watching Disney Channel. I'm heavily influenced by Raven Simone. I clearly am the knockoff version of her. Uh, that's what I integrated into my YouTube. I'm, I'm cheaper though, don't worry about it. Uh, you can hire me for less. But I was all over like YouTube creating these skits and sketches and then to be a part of a collaborative creative process with someone who raised me, Dan, uh, with Phineas and Ferb and now be a part of Hamster and Gretel. It's the coolest experience in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Can you Good talk question. about the freedom you guys had recording uh, your part for the series? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I think Dan is is so incredible in the fact that like he, it feels weird because he's like sitting right there. And I'm like, <laughs> you can he, use, yeah, say yeah, yeah, no, no, turn around. Come here. Uh, Dan, Dan. I'm not talking about you. Anyways, so. Dan is great because like, you know, he gives us creative freedoms that I feel like normally a, a creator would not be willing to do. Like, you know, he's not married to the words where he's like, yeah, if you want to change something, just go for it. Or if like, it's like not flowing right, he's like, yeah, let's just change this and like, just take this out. And, and it, it's so fun for him to just like understand that this is like a collaborative thing. And that's, it's, it's, it's celebrated and it should be celebrated so much more, you know, like we all love it. I love Dan too. Oh my gosh, yeah, he's great. He really is, and he like allows you to just like bring in your jokes, bring in your energy, and uh, he just encourages chaos, which is yeah. like no, what great. I do in the studio. Yeah. I feel like I'm very physical at the studio, and just like yeah. holding and gripping onto a pencil because my character's a reporter, so I'm just yeah. like holding onto a mic because he makes. Me yeah. Dan makes. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he does. Yeah. Good You're throwing things yeah, in the yeah. Yeah. How do you embody a, a cartoon reporter? Ooh, kind of like yourself, the way you're gripping the camera, everything, like, <laughs> moments like this I pull from, experiences like this I pull from, and, like, realize, like, oh, this is just someone who's just ridiculously curious, and, like, wants the story just to be told in the best way possible, and make it interesting, and, like, capture you with the headline, just like you're doing right now, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great, y'all. Have you guys recorded before or together? Well, so we never actually recorded together. This is our, today was like the first day that we met. And yeah, yeah weirdly enough, we hit it off, luckily. Because that'd be really awkward if we were okay. doing all these. All right, yeah, no, it's because we were hitting it off, it's fine. No, I thought we were cool, but no, uh, no it's, it's like, luckily enough, it's like, sometimes you meet people and it's just like, it's just fun. It works. You know? yeah. It works. Yeah. I know, it's been 45 minutes deep and we're, we're at yeah, this we're, level. Yeah, we're chilling. We're, we're, we're doing chilling. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are some of the different uh, ways that you approach voice acting versus like regular acting? I feel like with voice acting, like you're not as scared to just like take risks because no one can see you. <laughs> like, and also it's like you, literally you can just do whatever you want to do because like you're just imagining it in your head. So if, if you whatever you need to do to help you get to the place that you want to be, you can do. Like I'm not limited by what my face is gonna look like or whatever. So yeah, that, that, I'd say that's probably the part. It feels like the broadest of comedy. Like, yeah, it just feels like the most insane overacting in the world. The stretchies you can be with your face is gonna help you emote that emotion that you're carrying. Yeah, with your voice. Yep. Yeah, so it's just it's fun. It's free. Yeah. So Michael, for your character, you are gonna get superpowers, but it goes to a hamster instead of you. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that, and how does that affect? Uh, the series going forward. Well, you know, you're also the big brother too, so yes. you got to be a bigger person. Well, well, so so it's like you know, I feel like that that whole power dynamic is interesting too, where it's like I, I feel like Dan is so smart for flipping that whole dynamic, where it's like it the, the stereotypical like oh girls are boys are stronger than girls, and it's like his sister is so exponentially stronger than him, and <laughs> and, and like just way more obviously like way more skilled and more adapt to to deal with everything and i love that like dan is changing that like narrative that is so archaic and like flipping it on its head you know what i mean and i think that's, that's like such a smart way of thinking so now kevin is just the guy in the chair you know or the guy in the minivan really and it, he's just there to support his little sister as much as he can and obviously he wanted to be a superhero really badly but isn't so yeah were there any <laughs> previous uh, voice actors that you guys have gotten major inspiration from for your roles? Oh, man. 
I mean, I watched a lot of anime, and like, you know, I watched a lot of cartoons growing up, but I wouldn't say like there's like any one particular like voice actor that I'm like so like into, because like, mm -hmm. I mean, when you watch cartoons as a kid, you're like, hmm, who's that voice actor? Like, I was, <laughs> yeah. for me, yeah. I was never like, oh yeah, oh my gosh. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, for me, like, it wasn't like, oh yeah, this is one person that I'm gonna, yeah. yeah. Mine's Allison Stoner, who you just interviewed. Yes. She was awesome. <laughs> I know. She's brilliant. She she's is. She's just such a charismatic, yeah. like, incredible, charming person. And she just pours that into any character that she plays. Did you just pour all that on yourself? No, I didn't, <laughs> didn't, no I, I didn't do that. You're <laughs> like... It's not on camera. To my words. <laughs> yeah, it's not on camera. <laughs> but she just like pours herself into any character that she does play. She killed it in Phineas and Ferb for 14 years. Like she raised me, and now I get to be in a project with her. That's so cool. Uh, but yeah, you take you take. I think as you get older, you realize, oh, those are humans playing that. Those are creatives. Those are actors playing yep. these characters. Uh, and that fourth wall is kind of broken. You start to take note and realize, oh, that's cool. I want to bend my voice in that way, or like I want to go sing songy with the way that I deliver this line. Like it's fun to think about it. So but mostly it's just friends, you just have fun yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah. So Liza, uh, you mentioned your characters are a reporter. Could you tell yeah. us more about uh, who, who she is and what she does on the series? Yeah, so I forever have a pen in my hand because I always gripped a pen the whole time in a studio like this. Uh, it was really intense, I didn't need to do that, but that's exactly what I did. I'm sorry, wipe that down. But uh, it was it was just fun to be a reporter. I've done interviews in the past, so I kind of tapped into uh, that previous work experience that I had, and that's how I kind of got started with the industry before acting and voice acting. So I just, I really just tapped into that. It was fun though, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's the last thing. Uh, I, I would like you, okay, so play, you, you, first you of all, I want to get you guys yeah, into the show. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, cool. Could you do, a, like, using your voice from the series, could you give us, like, a debrief on your cancer and like, a message for kids? Oh, okay, that's actually a good, that's a, okay. Um... I feel like my voice is my regular voice. Like, now, like, now, like, put on the spot. I'm like, you could. Um, okay. That's a good question. Um, okay, so, like, a debrief on the show and the character's voice. Okay. Um. Oh, God, now I'm nervous. You go first. You go first. You got this guy. Did you see, like, me, like, start to do it and I got nervous? See, that's why we have Dan write the lines. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, nah, you got it. You got yeah, it. You got no. it. Hi, I'm Kevin, and my little sister Gretel got superpowers, and now I'm taking care of her, I guess. Kind of. I don't know. I don't Something know. like that. <laughs> I don't but know. That was perfect. That was on the mark for Kevin because he's unsure, but he yeah, also is yeah, super yeah. in his own ways. It was brilliant. I like it, Kevin. I like it, Kevin. Also, All right, now it's your turn. This is one of his first voice acting gigs, and his voice is so buttery. Just more to come from this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This you're is right, man. I told you. Yeah, yeah, no, you're doing really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, do you mind if I borrow your pen again? You, you have to wipe this down. You gotta <laughs> wipe it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this yeah, point, it's her pen. It's Sorry, fine. God. I'm gonna take it. It's a souvenir. Um, <laughs> hi, Veronica Hill here. On the scene at Comic Con, being asked to give a full synopsis of our show. Well, let me tell you, kid. Q. Uh, it basically is all about Hamster and Gretel. But hey. It's also about Veronica Hill. I'm a part of the headline as well. I want to tell the story. I'm going to tell it right. And sometimes the story is going to be about me. Even if it's not, I'm going to insert myself in it. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Dan. <laughs> that was good. That was a lot better than mine. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> nah, you were Kevin all the way. You're in your character. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the microphone. Oh, goodness. Right, I'm going to give you one more shot. He's got a sister with superpowers, and he just gets to be a normal reporter. What? So can you tell oh, him, yeah, like, like hey, guy. I'm this so into for for Hansel. I, this is my character from Hansel and Gretel. Sometimes, like, little sisters get the power, man. You just oh, have yeah, to take yeah, care of sure. I got All you. Right. All right? Okay. Um, hey, this is Kevin from Hamster and Gretel. And, you know, listen, sometimes you think that you will get superpowers, but instead your little sister gets them. So, uh, you know... It's all right. It's just life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You got his inflection and everything. Yeah, it's good. Like <laughs> I wonder why. I don't wonder. Good impression, man. <laughs> how old are you guys? I'm 26. And how old are you? 22. All right. Awesome. You guys have very youthful energy. Oh, oh, thank well, you. Yeah. We're in a kid show. It works yeah. out, right? Yeah, it totally works out. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Speaking of superpowers, Yo. what powers would you like to have? To be connected? That's a classic question yeah. for any superhero content. Uh, people say read minds, but I swear I can already do that. Oh, no, I, I, I'm too much of an empath, I just assume, and I create those thoughts. <laughs> and like, they're always wrong. Except I was right. <laughs> what do you think? It's my pen. <laughs> um, 
What's your answer? Um, okay, all right, my, no, mine is really lame. I would want to have either this the ability to... No, actually, no. The ability to remember everyone's name. Oh, that's, that's so such good. a good, useful superpower. Where it's like, it's like low-key, but like you will remember every single person's name. That's like actually like such a good... Thing to have because mm -hmm. relationships well no it's just also just like i feel like it's like that thing where it's like you meet so many people and it's like it's so nice to just be like oh my god hi yeah, and like true. yeah i was trying to remember y'all's names right now that's what i'm stressing out over i don't <laughs> no no no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we wish for that's what we wish for yeah i think mine would be invisibility cloak i just want to wear that from harry potter that's i think it's a superpower doesn't have that is that a superpower though because the cloak would be used. Whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Super yeah, item. It's my skin. It's invisibility. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, invisibility. Invisibility. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like right now. <laughs> That's it. Gone. Gone. But yeah, what about you guys? What's your answer to that question? I feel like a very common question, but like, right, what do you. Ray, you said it in the car. What's your. If you could. Oh, yeah, that, if I could just. Think of like words and they pop on the page without having to type them. Oh, oh that's right. actually that useful. Nice okay, I feel like that's. Wish. It's funny because we all like. Well, yours is less. I mean, not that it's less useful, but less like normal. I know. It's yeah. Common answer. That's... Yeah, like, that's like like a good skill. It's like, and but it's like useful. Yeah. You know. Have you heard of voice to text though? <laughs> I mean, no, no. I like you, like you think of like a paper. Like if you were like, I want to write a paper on science, and you want like these certain facts on it, like that, that aren't real, and then like, you say them, and then it becomes real. Like oh, okay. So, like, so that's like works. well, that's like oh. more useful, but also like way more. <laughs> Like he's not talking, he's not talking, he's talking yeah. like the end result, yes. he already gets to see, like, just, it's there. Just yeah, like so all that's these articles, like, well, like it's just the age of instant gratification. Yes. I'm gonna try I to, like, like that. that, yeah, that's like a lot of, like, the, the complexity of that superpower. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I can't, yeah. Tell that to Dan. <laughs> yeah, pitch it to Dan. Figure it yeah. out. Let's figure it out. What is y'all's answers? <laughs> Teleportation. Teleportation. Yeah, teleportation. Yeah, yeah, that's a good oh, one. That's, that's a good great. one. I feel like that's a useful one too. Yeah, it'd just be easier to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, flying. Yeah, yeah. Like flying is obviously yeah, flying, like the most yeah. obvious one, but like how cool would it be to just fly? I know. The first scene, this is actually the first scene of the show where you're trying to yeah, fly. Yeah, it's and so I don't. sad looking. And I don't. The animation <laughs> is so upsetting because he just tries and your little sister's just oh, like, yep, doing just, circles just, around you. Yeah, literally. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, to fly. Okay, I gotta change my answer. I gotta work on that. I think mine would be like healing. Oh. Oh. Have you heard of crystals? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Can I give you a clear quartz? <laughs> Magnetizes everything. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. I like that. Awesome. Thank oh, you. Oh, what's up? I know. I just want to get one picture of you guys together yeah. before yeah. we go. Let's and, do it. Uh, I'm not gonna take your pen. This looks like a family heirloom. Oh, it's beautiful. Actually, please, 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 please. actually if, I could, if I could have you stand, that would be great. Because yeah. that way I don't get them to wipe it. I don't know where I've been. <laughs>